Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the Knuckles brand, their Magnetic Helping Hands. It's a soldering clamp stand or third hand tool used for printed circuit boards. It'll hold them nicely. It has a three times magnifying glass on there with an LED ring light, and we're going to show a close up of all that. It has strong magnetic arms with alligator clips, as you can see right here comes with the alligator clips and these little thumb screws that allow you to loosen these and rotate these if you have to. But it's nice, it holds them in place real nicely and then you just compress this and it has a heat shrink material on there. Now this is the orange base on this has, uh, it's all uh, solid steel and it's magnetic and then these have magnets on them and they're really strong on the bottom of them, they're totally flat and they got a magnetic field on there that really clamps onto this like you wouldn't believe. And that's important so that you could actually move these around without it moving. And then you could lock onto your circuit board stuff. Now you can see that it also has these unique magnetized pieces. They look like uh, high-tech chess pieces almost. And we're gonna show what that's for. A lot of circuit boards have openings or holes in them. It allows you to grab it, to lock it in place if you're going to be soldering. So you notice there's different heights here. You got two right here which are the same height and then two longer ones that are the same height. Then you have the LED that you can swing around and it has a controller and on the end of that controller there is a USB type A port. So we're going to plug this in right now to any USB that's at least one amp or greater. Here I'm just going to be using a basic USB port. Now on the controller itself, now that I plugged it in, there is a little blue light on the power right there. I'm trying to block some of the light here. And then you just turn that on and off like that. Now you have a choice of the color temperature. And you can see it's going from a warmer to a wider. So that's your choice there, what, depending on what you're doing. You might want to have it more white to see the uh, soldering. And then you have a plus and you have a minus. So you have a lot of control to drop that down. And that's nice because sometimes you don't want a lot of light to reflecting on the solder joints. Other times you really want to crank up the light. And let's take this off right here so you can see another close up of it. So there's the light itself. And you can see the lens on there. And let's just show you right here what it looks like. So it could really amplify your soldering connection. Now the camera distorts it, but when I look in there with my eye, like I'm looking right now, then I see a perfect image and I could really get a close up of the tip right there. So that works really well. I'm impressed with that. Now on the bottom of this unit, it comes with really nice feet that you just stick on. It has 3M on there. And you just push that on the corners like that. And this is a real, I don't know if you can hear that, a real heavy, it's over an eighth of an inch thick. And what's nice about that is that it keeps this very stable. It also causes the magnetic field to have more uh, electrons to attract to. So it ends up being really, really strong holding that in place like that. So you, that's why you have the ability to hold something like this and move it around because that magnet is really strong and it keeps it right in place. Then of course they have this gooseneck type of metal on there I don't know how to describe it, but it's on all these pieces and it's a larger diameter than these ones because it's supporting more weight on there. But it just works really well. It keeps it right in place and uh, you're going to really like that for working on really precision things to be able to move it around wherever you need it. So very nice. Now we're going to just demonstrate how it works with a circuit board. So going over some of the specs of this. This obviously is color yellow, which looks really nice. The base material is that thick iron or steel. The base size is 23 by 17 centimeters. 
and the fixture size is 1.5 by 4.6 millimeter that's it right there and it weighs about two kilograms this company uh, has really strict quality control and every product before it leaves the shop is tested and they will offer you a unconditional exchange return policy for three months and just use the Amazon messaging system for any help. So here's a perfect example of something you might have in your shop. These are printed circuit boards that you can buy and you see they have the little holes in the corners and it just fits perfectly on there. The magnet holds it in place and this is really on there so that you could easily solder your components on there. And you just swing the light across and you could then see them close up. And of course, you could always adjust the brightness depending on the application. We can increase this so that we can see it even brighter. But that's the basic concept is you have the ability to hold something like this in place. That's why they call it a third hand. Here's another example. This is a circuit board from fluorescent light that I want to remove some of the uh, solder from so I can remove the components. And it has two holes in there. So I'm using that part which comes with this kit. And then I'm using one of these to hold it on an angle so that it's facing towards me. And then I have the ability to use the light and the lens you could really zoom in on those connections so that you could solder them easily. Now here's an example of a circuit board that really doesn't have any usable holes. It only has one hole in it. But if you want to work on something like that, then you just use these clamps and you line them up and it holds it in place. Now I want to show you just how rigid this is. I mean, I'm pushing on this very hard and it's not moving that much. I have to really yank it to get this to move. These things really do grip it really well. And then of course you've got the lens there and you could zoom in and look at all those connections right there and make all your solder connections or corrections, whatever you're gonna do. But it's really functional. So I wanted to show a close up of, this is one of the longer pieces and it comes with this little knurl right there. And you could rotate this if you want to. And you just tighten it like that. And then here's what you push on to grab. And as I mentioned, it has a uh, coating on there, rubberized coating to really grab. And these are really flexible. I mean, I mean, look at that. You could just, you could basically make even an S pattern on there and it stays in place. So they're very functional. The magnetic field on here is just incredibly strong. I mean, it'll just pull anything in, um, that's how strong it is. I mean, I don't know what kind of magnet they're using, but very powerful. And uh, this proportional to the use. So the diameter of this is that diameter, which looks like about three quarters of an inch. And then the light itself has about a one and a quarter inch diameter to increase the magnetic field so that it's really rigid for using the lens. I want to point out also that these rotate around that magnetic field. You could see like that. So they just move around. You could hold them, but they could just rotate right easily. And they move in a circular pattern if you have to, but yet they hold it in place unbelievably strong. And the light itself, let me show you that. Let's take this off and move this over. The light has a pivot joint right there that allows you to rotate this. So that stays put, that doesn't move. And that just has its own pivot joint right there a lot of movement of the light. So here I want to show just a close-up of the actual lens and the light. So it has a little diffuser panel on there and then it has the glass magnifier on there, the 3X. And then it's screwed on right here with this pivoting point to be really strong. Just wanted to show you the bottom of it and then that is the viewer side right there. So here I am in my electronics part of my lab and I've got my soldering tools and I just want to show you how nice this works there it is being held in place there is the lens right there and I could take my soldering iron and I can move across these connections right there heat things up nicely and it's just got the right amount of magnification too much 
is not good and too little is not good. But this has just the right amount to allow you to see what you're working on. And, and let's not forget another application. When you're soldering wires, you can use the clip to hold it in place so that you can really see those connections to heat them up. And of course, another application is holding both ends of a wire so that you could effectively use your heat gun while it's holding the wire for you. So after testing the Nichols brand, their magnetic helping hands, what do I think about this product? I really like it. It's simple to use, very simple to get different amounts of light. The magnet magnifying lens works really great. It's very clear. It's a glass lens. And with these clamps on here, as I demonstrated, you're going to be able to hold all your circuit boards and be able to solder much better with this tool at your side. So I'm going to give this product a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.